Hey guys, in today's episode of Logic Pro Quick Tips, I'm showing you how to save your channel strip settings and easily recall them later. So this is my chain for vocals right now, and I'm really liking how this sounds. So up here on the settings, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go Save Channel Strip Settings As. And it's going to save it. It's going to find the right folder to save this in, and you're going to call it whatever you want. So you can call it Vocal 1 or something like that. I'm not going to save it because I don't need it on this one. But then in order to recall it, so I'm just going to do a new audio track. Right click, and you can actually see them right here. So these are the different ones that I've saved. So I'm just going to do Voice 1. And these are all ones that I've saved for voice. what I've called Voice 1. This one is for Voice 4. Slightly different settings, slightly different EQ. Here's another voiceover one that I did. All the different configurations are saved right there. So just an easy way to save settings that you like and recall them later. So hope that helped you guys out. Don't forget to check out my other Logic Pro playlist, either on just Logic Pro Quick Tips or on my Logic Pro Backing Track Live series. So hope that helped you guys out. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I post more videos like this and I'll see you next time.